But as you can see, it's raining outside, so it's a typical Sunday summer afternoon. And it's now August, and Spider and I are on the Docklands Light Railway on our way to Stratford to pick up the line to go to South Woodford to film the new Ogin screen there. It used to be an ABC, it's now an Ogin, it's been rebranded. Railway a lot? Only for pleasure. Only for pleasure. And now we're on our way to Stratford, aren't we? Uh, I thought I was going to the pub actually. <laughs> no, no, we go to Stratford first and we go to the pub, is that alright? Um, yeah, well, alright then. <laughs> but what, what's so funny about the Stratford's like railway is no driver. Yeah. So here we are, sat at the front, the spider likes to sit at the front, he likes to see where we're going, and it's raining. Well, I think it's going to be a great afternoon, don't you think so, spider? Always. Is it, I'm really looking forward to going to South Woodford. Lovely place. Hello. Yeah. I'm sure. Oh, so yeah, said right. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> What's up? So, we're going to go in a second, here we yeah. go. Carrying on our way to Stratford. Today we've come to South Woodford, which I think we're still in London. I'm not quite sure if we're in Essex, but anyway, it's a suburb of London. Let's just put it that way, like Barking is, even though know, technically Barking is in Essex, but we're on that side of London. So, with the sun in my eyes, so I apologise for the... Uh, we're in South Woodford. Now, the last time we visited here, it was the ABC South Woodford. But today we come back because OGN have taken over ABC quite a while ago now, as you all know and they've just rebranded here and it's now the OG in South Woodford and it's now seven screens. So we're going to meet Robin who I knew from working at the OG in South End many years ago when it was just at Twin Cinema. So it's going to be nice to meet Robin again and our friend Michael from, a, from the OG in South End is here. He's doing some relief work here today. So come with me now and let's go around the projection rooms here at the OG in South Woodford. Nice to see you here. We're not at Ogin South End, the Ogin South. Oh, Ogin South Yeah. And in the top box we've got three projectors. Oh, I'm Robbie Zilkin, technician at South Woodford Ogin. Yeah. And uh, you, but in the top box there's three cinemas off this top box, isn't there? Yes. Oh, quite That's, that's uh, four, five or six. Yeah. And how long have you been in Ogin, Robin? Officially about mid-summer last year. Yeah. And officially in ABC. Oh, yeah. I go. Okay. Thank you very much. So it's nice to see the jet on an angle like this. The first time I think on the projection series we've got our link on. The cinema is linked up to the theatre just beyond the technician. So the film's actually coming from the other theatre into the technician's front seat. And then it's leaving the technician's front seat over to the platter over there. I think what we'll do is we're going to go over to the other machine and follow the film through. So follow me and we we'll go around the box to the other machine. And here we are. Now I'm not sure what screen numbers these are. Basically we've got the film coming off the platter and as you can see it's not taking up. So it's coming off the platter and the arm is held back so the projector will not stop. Okay, and there we go. We've still got Cinemation 2005, which I believe is a good Cinemation. Digital timers, which is excellent. The clock. We're in this is screen five. 
And you've got another kid that's not projected and really these are Phillips FP20s. I think these have been here quite a while, probably from the original cinema when it was an ABC before the brand of Jogin. Again, we can see it's been fixed with a laser. We've got CX21H, there's only lamp, I believe 1.6 lemon. And the interesting thing we've got Phillips on projector, or as I said, a Phillips FP20, and we've got some mechanical switching. So anyway, the film's a little projector, so we'll just walk around here. And this film is travelling all the way across. Now here we have the tensioner, so if you've got to have a movie, um, you won't snap the film, because obviously two projectors don't go exactly the same speed, it's back to light. Here we are, back at the second projector, that's on later. Yeah, I said there was some. Again, we've got cinematic fish control here. So you can see the original portholes. This is the original projection room of the ABC Woodford. So here we have the film coming back. And just coming up to a flatter. And so when this film finishes, they'll be re-threaded up, and we'll feed off this flatter through the two projectors and taken up on the flatter we saw just before. Moving to the left, so that was between five and six. A third doorway here. I love these old wooden doors from the old cinema, you know. And here we have screen four. Again, we've got an FP20. I do like these old cinemas converted, they're really nice. So we went screen for. And Michael. Michael's working here today. So let's have a look at this FP20. Laser LED, well it's not laser LED, it's a laser red light. MC Cinemechanic has switch control here to operate the, what was the Philips?
now is known as Kiniton FP20. And we've got a CP55. Robin, have you got any digital in this theatre? Yes, number one theatre. Is that your big screen, is it? Yeah. Is that downstairs? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, thank big you. Big screen, but small theatre. I really? That's the best way to describe it. <laughs> okay, excellent. There's a cut off in the event of a snatch. Projection room window here. Robin, what used to be in this area where we are stood now? Staff room, I think. Oh, really? I think this is the wall of staff room. Right. There's the old sweet blue. Yeah, certainly. Okay, I don't think we'll get in there, but we'll, we'll take it away for it. And this is the original projection room stairs here. I love these old stairways. You feel like you're in a projection room when you look at this. I guess this must be the office now. Is this your office now? No, it's a trailer room, carpets and pieces. It's not technically an office, it's a staff room. Oh, I see. We've not we've all sorted out because of all these Yeah, yeah. It used to be an intake room. Oh, I see. But I, I love all these wooden doors. These are proper cinema, aren't they? When you see a door yeah, like this. It's original. Yeah, it's original. It's beautiful. So you can see where the, the old clip can walk. <laughs> yes. God. That was still there. So here we've got some of the original switch gear for the fans and whatever. Wow. That's where the motor was. Ah, oh, there's the fan. The old fan has come out. You can't beat these proper cinemas, these old cinemas with all this gear. Fascinating. Oh, now what's Michael playing with? Is that cross box? It's a CP50 for it. Oh, I wasn't looking at I was looking at the, uh, this. I think that's a cross box. Mm -hmm. We've got an old CP50, of course. What we look at now is an old cross box. Is this from an FP20, Michael? I think it is. Oh, what's this? Is that some holding remotes, you think, at one time? It's a huge piece of metal frame. It looks like a frame, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe something to do what was. Yeah. But this is really nice for you coming to work here for the day, Michael, being in an old type cinema which you're so familiar with. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. The staircase, can you imagine back 50 years ago the chief walking up going, Hey, lad, make me a cup of tea? And the lads have to do it. That's right, isn't it, Michael? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not today. <laughs> but I do, I love this stairway. History. That's what it is, Michael. It's history. It's a great view of the road across the uh, roof. Is it? Projection roof. Wow, uh, it's a huge building, this Robin, isn't it? I think it's small. Do you? Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. It's just from the outside, it does look huge. It's huge. Well, it looks small to me, but then I worked a bigger screen. Yes. I mean, yeah. you used to work at South End. Then you used to work at Walthamstow, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. This is as big as this. Yeah. Bigger. But that was nice, Walthamstow, having that nice stage, wasn't it? 
Yeah, that is, that is really cool. So how long have you been here now? Started 18th of August last year. Oh, last year, and you came from Walthamstow? Yeah. And now that's Asian films, or...? It's, it's English-English now. It's, it's English now. Changed English April last year. Ah, uh, but originally when ABC... Did ABC sell it, or did Odin sell it? I'm not I think sure. it was Odin. Yeah. And for a short period it was Asian and then they got the OK to yeah, show. That's right, yeah. But they were going to spend a lot of money at one time, weren't they? Yeah. Um, there was to be some things in the newspaper. And yeah. The latest thing is they want to turn it into a church. Oh, what a shame. But there's an up in arms about it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Because really here, I remember coming here a couple of years ago when I did it when it was an ABC and it wasn't six screens. I jumped on a bus and like ten minutes away I was in Walthamstow. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. I enjoyed that day. That was also on a Sunday. But I don't know what's going to happen there. The, the, the people don't want to lose it in Walthamstow. Mm -hmm. I noticed it when I was there. They weren't going to it either. So. Yeah, so it's Catch-22, isn't it? Have you got a multiplex near you here? At Cine World? Cine UK? Cine, yes. Yeah, Cine World UK is in Ilford. Oh, right. So I thought Cine World had one in Woodford, but obviously not here. No. No, it's Wood Green. Oh, Wood That's, Green. That's uh, near... In between Walthamstow and UCI. Ah, so you got no problems then? No. Well, Only the one that's in Milford. Ah, yes. Excellent. <laughs> if you follow it over towards the left hand one, yes. there's a very short tower there. Yeah, in the middle, yeah. Just go to the right, left slightly. Yeah. Can you see that it's cream and red? Y yeah, I think so. That gets it. Never. It is. So we're looking over the former Ogin Gans Hill. Looking towards Canary Wharf. And this projection staff room now. So Robin, what you're just saying to me now, where we are actually, we're stood on the top of screen seven. seven yep, just about it. It's amazing. It used to be the ballroom, I believe. Oh yeah. The spring floor. Mm-hmm. But no flight tower. Well, no. not to my knowledge. You never no. had any stage facilities. I don't know. I, I came in here after they started knocking it about. Yeah. I never came in before then. I never find it. Oh, right. <laughs> no, I was told by my previous chief, it was, it was, in, it was in Woodford, so I went, Woodford one. Oh uh, yes, not South Woodford, yeah. Not South Woodford, I accidentally found it one day when I came with the 406, I thought, oh, yeah. that's where it is. Yes. If he said it was next to Waitrose, I would have known exactly where it was. Oh, right. Are we far from your end of the world where you live and where you come from? From South End, sea. Oh, you come from, do you still live in South End? Yes. Oh no, so you commute every day? Yep, when I come up here. Oh wow, that's fantastic. Do you ever pop in to see Michael South End? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Occasionally, not as occasionally as I'd like. Yeah, well, I mean, you're spending all day here, you just need to do your own thing when you get home, exactly. don't you? Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's fabulous. What projectors have you got downstairs? Then you've got Philips FP20s up here. Everywhere. Oh, the, the... Standard ABC issue. Oh, well, that's good. So they kept you the same projectors same and the same spares. Stands. Oh, well, that's, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the FP20s? I like them. I haven't experienced as much as I've done with Victoria's. That's still right. like Victoria's. Yeah. FP20s are okay. Yeah. Better than DP70s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Never yeah. say that. I'm going to pour it in here. That's really Oh, lovely. Okay. Oh, here we are in the battery room. What voltage are they? 110. 110. 120. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to uh, top up these, do you? That's a bonus. And 
Another beautiful old door. Interesting. You see what it says on the other side of it? Go on then. Ah, oh, TV Wines room. Oh, wow. Hey, neat. Generator room. So before the days of rectifiers, so the generators would be in there zooming along on the shafts. So now your staff room is it? Don't grab my bag, it's got it's just going to the back of it. always come back out of the Oh, okay. Now is this the other stairway from and to the uh, projection room? Because you always used to have two exits, didn't you, from the projection room? Um, I think that's the old exit way to go to the ballroom. I really? Oh, this is where we came in, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. So these stairs lead nowhere, but look what we've found. Two penis arcs. Isn't that lovely? Look. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at this. That's nice. So this. The old exit way. Uh -huh. I love these old passageways and staircases that generally the public don't go into now. Is this an exit way officially? Well, it's really yeah. There's a door there, I'm not sure what it goes to, but it goes behind the back of the screen there. Alright. That old part of the screen, I'm not sure where that one goes. So is this the boys and girls staff room here? This is the girls and boys staff room. Alright, so you have to come here to get the projection room. Or to get... Yes. Yeah. This is a screen seven. Three. Screen three. Going um, down below level. Uh huh. Is this the back of the stalls? The original stuff, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
Got two different rollers here, depending what plate you're going onto. This is for little projectionists. Well, Robin. Thank you very much, Robin. It's been absolutely. I've been here a long time ago, but to see the cinema now is fabulous, and your projection rooms are fabulous. They're all spacious, all well run. And thank you very much for showing me around. Awesome. Nice Come to see again. you again. How long is it since we've seen each other? Quite a number of years now. Quite a number of years. I think it's uh, I think. That's right. Yeah. But well, thank you very much for coming in. It's been absolutely nice.